I'm Greg Grugan in Houston. I'm Stephen Dial in Dallas. And I'm Rudy Kosky in Austin. This is Texas. The issue is. This week, the widespread concern over public safety is front and center. As we spoke with the Dean of the Texas Senate, John Whitmire, longtime chairman of the Upper Chambers Criminal Justice Committee. And no one knows more about criminal justice, in my opinion, than you. Yes, sir. You've been watching, you've been studying, you've been gauging the situation in the Lone Star State, and particularly here in, in its biggest city. What has happened? Why are we in trouble? Data would show that we're allowing repeat violent offenders on the streets of Houston and Harris County and other urban settings. So while we tried to fix the bond issue for low level offenders, it has also allowed more violent offenders to be released. I, it is just unheard of that you would give a violent offender, a murderer, or even in instances in Harris County, capital murders, a bond. And you see individuals violate conditions of their first bond but get another one. The murders of, of Houstonians by people out on bond is just reprehensible. It, it doesn't have to happen. Uh, people are staying at home. They're scared. It's not good for Houstonians. It's not good for our reputation around the state and the nation. I believe it strongly that it will affect our economy because people are just going to avoid Houston if it continues to get the reputation for its violence. Now, some are going to say, Whitmer, you're exaggerating. You're embellishing the problem. The truth is, I'm not. The facts speak for themselves. When you have backlog cases waiting to go to court, when you have 100,000 felony warrants waiting to be served, we got a serious problem. The heck with the holidays. Judges ought to not take holidays off. Work through the holidays, have evening, weekend courts. So it's not really rocket science stuff. It's the attitude of the people in charge. So everybody needs to get fired up, if not, they are going to be held accountable at the ballot box. We've got to get the backlog through the courts. If you're innocent, send them home to their family. If they've put a gun in somebody's face, if they've murdered somebody, you send them to TDCJ. You have to get the violent element off the streets of Houston and Harris County. At least 180 documented cases of Harris County residents being killed by folks out on bond. Does that underscore everything you just said? The PR bonds ought to be considered for nonviolent, first time offenders, low level offenders, but not someone who's got a rap sheet a page long. Uh, those folks will go out and re offend, and that's what's leading to the large number of murders. I do not apologize for holding armed robbers accountable. We have the, the, the means to lock people up when they murder someone. Repeat murderers ought to be locked up and held accountable. Your longtime Senate colleague, Rodney Ellis, who's now Precinct 1 Commissioner, has repeatedly suggested the outright dismissal of tens of thousands of pending felony cases uh, as a means of relieving the docket and the jail. Is that acceptable to, to Texans? It's unacceptable to Texans. It's unacceptable to Houstonians and people in Harris County. The first thing it would do is destroy the morale of our police officers. They're not going to be motivated to put their life on the line if you're going to dismiss their cases. Here's the problem. We cannot allow the violence and the crime on the streets of Houston Harris County to become the norm. We cannot be desensitized to the murders and other violent offenses. Every night when I go home, I watch evening news, usually twice. You can't name a day that there hasn't been a murder or a shooting on the streets of Houston Harris County. As the longtime chairman of the Texas Senate's Criminal Justice Committee, Whitmire has maintained constant oversight of the state's prison system. He says that since the pandemic struck, the number of convicted criminals incarcerated in TDCJ has dropped by 20%. And he knows exactly where the unpunished have sought refuge. And most of them are on the streets of Houston Harris County. I can't emphasize enough when you see someone on TV that on video has armed robber and he's not captured, they don't have a suspect, that person is doing it again. 
and again and again. You have very publicly broken with the sitting county judge and others on commissioner's court for their failure to address this issue. Uh, why did you do that? Because I don't play politics with crime fighting. Uh, criminals don't discriminate. They work in all communities. The nonsense of experimenting with defunding police so you could then fund other programs is just wrong. And I think we're living through some of the uh, experiments. There's no question that mental health, neighborhood conditions, everything contributes to the human being. But if we're not safe, Greg, nothing else matters. Senator, what happens if we don't fix this issue? It's going to get worse. It's going to continue to uh, take lives and property. Uh, I think people will continue to alter their lives. I think they'll lock themselves up in their houses. They'll purchase firearms. They'll do burglar alarms. It will not be the community that we're proud of. Houston is the greatest city in the state, in the greatest state in the nation. We will never reach our full potential if we don't get public safety under control. Rudy, what's your one word reaction to what Whitmire had to say? Greg, I'm going to quote the senator, reprehensible. Stephen, what's your word? The word is frustrated. Okay, obviously there's a great deal more to say, so the Fox Texas Trio will be back after this break.